Welcome to Snap-on Training Solutions. This module is designed to help you get the most out of your VeriSedge diagnostic tool and covers the use of scanner data in graphing view. Monitoring data parameters from the vehicle's electronic control module, or ECM, is extremely helpful when tracking down vehicle faults. A numeric view of parameter ID, or PID data, will not always reveal problems or show relationships between PIDs. Graphing relationships between data parameters gives you a view of performance over time and enables you to compare multiple data parameters. Data graphing can show momentary failures and data trends over time. Select the Graph button to open a data graph for that parameter. The graph provides a large number of data points plotted so you can compare events over time. The tool continuously records data for all available parameters. From 1 to 16 graphs can be displayed, allowing you to view relationships between components. The min and max values show the current, maximum, and minimum data values. These values are stored even after the data has scrolled off the screen. Select the Expand Collapse icon to display the graph in full screen view. Select it again to return to the standard view. Selecting the Properties button allows you to customize the colors, settings, and sweep of the graph display. Using a PID trigger allows you to capture data that is outside of normal range by setting upper and lower values to start recording data when the signal crosses them. You can use triggers on up to three parameters at once. To set up the trigger, select the Graph Properties icon on the parameter graph you wish to trigger. From the Graph Properties dialog box, select Trigger On. A check mark appears and the min and max fields activate. Enter the desired trigger value into each field. Select Save to close the dialog box. Blue and red trigger lines now display on the selected graph. The area between the upper, blue, and the lower, red, trigger lines establishes the triggering condition. Data points that fall outside of these limits will trigger the recording. To arm the triggers, select the Snapshot icon. The Snapshot button changes color, indicating it is armed and ready to record. Once armed, it remains on until you select Clear or Disarm. The Zoom options allow you to change the magnification level of the sweep. Select the plus button to zoom in and increase magnification, and the minus button to zoom out and decrease magnification. The save icon saves the current screen information along with all data stored in the buffer. The recorded data movie is automatically saved. Tap the data manager icon on the home screen, select scanner data folder, Choose the data movie you want to see. Use the scroll buttons to scroll forward or back through the collected data. Scroll down to view more data parameters. Snap-on is dedicated to helping you get the most out of your diagnostic tool and keep your customers happy. Be sure to watch the rest of the modules in this Training Solutions series.